How to more effectively help your patients who smoke. The Public Health Service has put out clinical guidelines in the year 2000 on treating tobacco use and dependence. The recommendations in that document were to use nicotine patches, nicotine gums, sprays, inhalers. All of these are nicotine replacement therapies or NRT. They also recommended clonidine and nortriptyline, which at that point had not been approved by the FDA for smoking cessation, and bupropyrin, which is uh, marketed under the trade name Zyban or Welbutrin. In, 19, or in 2008, the clinical guidelines were amended to include vereniclene, which is commonly sold as Chantix or Champix, as well as drugs plus counseling as a therapy. And see the results of this 12-year endeavor. Despite all of the help, all the things that the, that the CDC and the Public Health Service and state and local governments and the pharmaceutical industry have done, 19.3 percent of our population continue to smoke. And, and despite all the anti-smoking legislation, tax increases, the cost of cigarettes going up, uh, health warnings, prevention activities all over the place, the smoking rates have only decreased less than 5% in the last 12 years with all of this effort. In fact, quit smoking drug therapies have more than, greater than an 85% relapse rate. Why are we losing this battle against smoking? Could it be that pharmaceuticals are not the best solution? A study done at Harvard School of Public Health and released January of 2012 concerned itself with nicotine replacement therapies, NRT. Using these therapies, you're replacing the nicotine, you're inducing nicotine into the system without the harmful effects of tars and chemicals going into the lungs, but you remain addicted to nicotine. This study was published in January 2012, but it followed 787 adult smokers from 2001 to 2006. Conclusion of the study was that using NRT is no more effective than help in helping people stop smoking cigarettes in the long term than trying to quit on one's own. In other words, cold turkey. Now let's look at bupropion and varenicline. Um, those go under the common trade names of Zyban, Welbutrin, and Chantix. They're primarily used as antidepressants. They block the signals to the brain's receptors that nicotine has satisfied the smoker's discomfort. Now, if you watch any of the commercials or read any of the, the medical publications, you'll find the list of harmful side effects is much greater than the list of benefits to be derived from the medication, including the potential risk of suicide. These drugs are subject to multiple class action suits in federal court in the United States seeking damages from side effects, including many wrongful deaths. Now having taken the oath to first do no evil, many doctors are now reluctant to prescribe these meds. So if we can't use meds or we can't use NRT, what is effective? Well, you have to understand the smoking problem. It's as much a psychological and sociological problem as it is a physical addiction. <clears throat> These behavioral things simply can't be changed through drug therapies. Smoking is much more complex than just the nicotine addiction. The most effective therapies over time have always been centered around counseling, whether as individuals or in groups. The medical community has come to see come to see the smoking problem is one of nicotine addiction, very simple. And 
simply apply drugs and, and patches and so forth to attract that. When in reality, it's much bigger than that. Nicotine addiction is only one piece of the puzzle. Any smoker can tell you that uh, after they finish a meal, they have a desire for a cigarette or a cup of coffee or a soft drink or a beer or an alcoholic beverage. These are triggers. These are linkages to, uh, that relate to the nicotine and the common actions of it that you do during the day. Many smokers feel that uh, if they quit smoking, they'll lose their best friend. They consider that cigarette to be their best friend. There are many social triggers, going out with your friends, going to a ballpark, getting in your car and driving. A lot of cars just won't start unless the cigarette's already lit. Uh, these are, are triggers that have to be addressed. You know, your lips, the lips of a smoker are used to having uh, a cigarette crammed in between them about 100 times a day, every time you take a puff from a cigarette. And when they quit, that's why a lot of people gain weight. They keep on having to put something between their lips. So you have to be concerned with weight gain as well as nicotine addiction. And then there's the stress triggers. It could be a stress of an argument with your spouse or, or a big business deal or the, the pressure of, of running a business or attending a funeral of a friend or lots of different things could, could uh, serve to relapse a smoker who had quit. The NRT and drugs only treat the nicotine addiction. They don't begin to touch all these other aspects. Traditional ways of quitting include cold turkey, all the patches, gums, hypnosis, acupuncture, aversion therapy. Regardless of how you quit, at some point you come to a what's called a quit date. When you actually put the cigarettes up or throw them away or whatever and you begin life as a non-smoker. Well, anybody who's been through that and most smokers have been through it four or five times, uh, anybody will tell you that once you quit like that, the world is a minefield and there's lots of things that can cause you to relapse. It could be the food that you eat or, or a drink of beer or worry about gaining weight or different fears that you have, stressful situation, the various habits, the social triggers, or it could be a certain event that's triggering. Any one of these can trip you up and you're right back where you started. That happens in over 85 percent of the cases of people attempting to quit smoking. Now the Smoke Hunters Online way of quitting is to diffuse those minds before you quit. We have our students continue to smoke while you learn how to lower your nicotine level gradually identify your triggers, control your linkages, break your ties with all the stuff related to smoking, and regain control of your life. Then when you go into the quit date, beyond that, you'll be thinking like a non-smoker. We give ongoing support, reinforcement, and continuing help to that function. Smoke Enters has been around since 1969 and has more than a a million graduates, uh, happy folks that, that uh, have quit smoking and uh, I quit smoking 31 years ago myself and have never wanted a cigarette ever since. The course is a seven week course. It's one hour weekly video tutorial study plus daily action steps you do each day. Take about 10 minutes a day each week. There's a study published at Johns Hopkins University that shows our relapse rate is one-third of the other therapies. Copy of that study is available at smokehentersonline.com slash jhstudy.doc. Now this Smoke Enters, the, the, the proven Smoke Enters course is now available online as a home study course. It's the exact same program, just delivered through the miracle of the internet. And it produces guaranteed results not a money-back guarantee, but if you happen to relapse, which is not the norm, a smoker can retake the course free in the event of that relapse, and the second time through, they hardly ever relapse. The way it works like this, we have four different aspects of smoking, and we have seven weeks. 
we begin in week one focusing on nicotine and doing an analysis of, of each person's different characteristics in terms of linkages and triggers that affect them. And then we continue working on nicotine for the first four weeks, gradually reducing the amount of nicotine absorbed in the body. While in week two, we work on oral gratification, attitude, weight, uh, stress, events. Week three is on breathing, emotions, handling the caffeine, uh, the, your image as a smoker, the pressures that you have as a smoker. And week four, we introduce exercise routines, repatterning old habits, and how to handle the crises that are bound to occur. Um, we work on alcohol and how to work through the various uh, aspects, the various issues that are psychological, sociological, and cultural. And then comes the quit date, the 29th day. The nicotine, re nicotine level in the system is gra greatly reduced by that time, and therefore quitting is very, very easy. And now it begins a period of adjustment, and we go through all the feelings and concerns that the new, new non-smoker has as they adjust to life without cigarettes. We take them through the seven-week seven course after which they graduate. And believe me, you never look back and you never want another cigarette. Why should you recommend Smoke Enders Online? Well, it's available everywhere, online, anytime. A patient can take your recommendation, go home, and complete the first course within the next hour. It's much more effective than NRT or drug therapies. It's proven. It's less costly than NRT or drugs. The patient enjoys the privacy in overcoming the smoking problem in the, in the luxury of their own home or their office. They don't have to stand up in front of a bunch of people and, and uh, act like a reform center. It uses no NRT or drugs. This is a training program that deals with all aspects of the smoking puzzle. and the results are guaranteed. The most important factor in quitting smoking is the commitment to do so. Without that commitment, you can hardly be successful. Now, nobody has ever quit smoking because someone else wanted them to. That just doesn't cut it. They have to make a personal commitment to quitting. Now, please recommend Smoke Enters Online but only to those who have a serious interest in quitting and who voluntarily decide to quit. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. As much as we'd like to have lots of students in our Smoke Enters Online, if they're not committed, we don't care to have them. So what to do next? Contact Smoke Enters Online. We'll send you a supply of brochures for distribution to your patients supply a referral tear sheet pads, kind of like a prescription pad, gives the patient information on how they can sign up, and provides a professional courtesy discount to the patient. You can email us at sales at smokeendersonline.com or call by phone at 205-223-1982. Visit our website at http www.smokeendersonline.com or go to our YouTube channel and learn more about Smoke Enders at www.youtube.com slash smokeendersonline. Thank you.